What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. Today we're talking about bronze 390 lumen LED thin bar uh, folding light, whatever you want to call it. The description could be a mile long, but I'm going to show you a couple things that I like about this light and a couple things that I don't like about this light. If you're interested in my review, well, stay tuned. All right, guys, in this review, I'm first going to say that this light is probably, in my opinion, not worth the $40. Um, I think that there are some, definitely some better lights out there that provide a little bit better light for the money. Uh, offerings from Milwaukee and things like that um, are a little better. Now, you're going to pay a little bit more for the Astro uh, version of this. Um, this is pretty good, but I don't think that the value is there. Now, there are some really, really finicky things about this light is the minute this end cap comes loose whatsoever, this light is rendered useless. So, I mean, you really have to get this tightened down for it to work. I mean, the minute you just pop it loose, you'll have a connectivity issue uh, with the battery. So this always needs to be tight. Um, it's something that I've fought with many, many times on this light because you do have a nice magnetic tip here on the end. So it is very, very positive. I like it for using it over here on the, uh, the chainsaw vise and being able to use it like that. I like it for that aspect and that it's foldable and you have three different modes. You have bright, dim, and then you have the tip light here. So it is nice in that aspect. Uh, I just wish that the build quality was a little bit better. Um, it has basically, you know, it's it's got a little bit of a positive um, thing here, but I think it could be better. It rocks around. Um, this battery thing here can be very, very misleading. Um, and see, it says it's charged now. Um, it's most definitely not charged. Uh, so it's not like if I unplug it, plug it back in, it'll say red. It'll probably stay red for the length of our conversation here um, when I don't mess with the battery cover. So the battery cover is something that I've just constantly messed with on this light and it will go off in the middle of using it. And that's something that's really frustrating um, that it needs to be super, super tight for it to get a good connection. And then while you're using it, it just will basically shut off on you and it's just no fun. So they do say at 11 hours of runtime on this battery. I'm gonna just go ahead and say that there's no possible way that I get 11 hours of runtime off this light. Now this light is fairly new. Um, I still have the original packaging. Um, it says up to 11 hours and 39 minutes of runtime up to, yeah, up to is probably when you just have the tip light on um, and you're using it very sparingly. But um, you definitely do not get that kind of runtime out of this light. So on high, you get 390 lumens. On low, you get 109 lumens, and then 52 lumens for the little tip flashlight. So that's where your 11 hours, 39 minutes comes into play there, is at 52 lumens. So at 390, you're looking at, uh, you know, uh, two and a half hours of runtime. So uh, that's really what you're looking at there, is you want the brightest light, uh, but at three, 390, you're only getting two and a half hours of runtime. So I think there are some improvements that can be done to this light. The battery connection could be a lot better. You see, I barely messed with the end cap here and it went to green. So if you just set it down, I've also had problems with setting it down on the table too hard and then it, it you know, loses connection and then it won't charge anymore. So I never get a real full charge on a battery if I mess around with it while it's charging. Now the good thing is you can use this while you're charging. Kind of makes it a little better to be able to use this while it's plugged in. But the cord that comes with it is only like a foot and a half long, maybe two feet long at most. Um, that you know you can't go very far, so I just plug it into the extension cord. 
So, you know, there are some limitations to this light for $40. I can't recommend it to any of my viewers. Um, it, it's, it's not terrible, but it's also not the best. So I would definitely uh, opt for a Rover light from Milwaukee uh, at this price point. Um, I would go with a Milwaukee offering all day long um, versus something like this. Yeah, rechargeable battery, you know, Milwaukee's got that too. Uh, you know, you can get different battery packs with different milliamps, uh, you know, output, and different amp hour outputs um, to make it a little better, but for the money, ah, I just wouldn't recommend it. So it's just a, a right on par with the rest of Harbor Freight tools. It's just not all that awesome uh, and it really doesn't uh, hit the value mark for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you've liked my content, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, if you're a member of the channel and you've been around for a long time and you watch all of my reviews, well, thanks for coming out. We'll see you guys in the next video.